I'm starting today with a waterfall quest. I've heard that this is one of the best quests to get done early. I boarded this dodgy looking raft, flung a rope at a rock, dragged myself towards a waterfall, jumped down onto this ledge, hopped onto this barrel and flung myself down into the waterfall. I read a book from the house at the bottom, then I walked towards the tree gnome village, and then I remembered that the already cape existed, used that, ran past these scary turtle things in case they attacked me, followed the blue line around this maze, hopped down a ladder, took a key from this crate, got a rock, took it to the gnome king, placed it on a statue thing, looted a chest, took someone's ashes from the grave, bit grim that, got a big whack for it from this green giant, headed back to the waterfall, entered the door this time, ran straight to the crate to loot it, sprinted past these red giants, put runes on these pillars, and the quest was finished. It got me a massive drop of strength and attack XP and a few other things. My next goal was observatory quest where I might have to defeat a level 42 goblin guard. So I got me some cake, teleported to castle wars and spoke to this guy to start the quest. Down this scary looking staircase, stole from this chest, tried to go through this gate but woke up the sleeping guard who started attacking me, turns out that that's the level 42 one. I tried my best to get it stuck in this blue square but nothing I did was working. I ran around the corner a little bit and came back and that time it finally worked. So I went in, stole the stinky stew, when I took it back to the guy who gave me this quest he let me look through his telescope and rewarded me with crafting XP. I chopped down a tree, made a wee canoe, paddled myself up the river, checked my kudos which was 73, told someone about all the drama I'd seen going on around here and they paid me in kudos for my spell. In. That took me to 88. I still needed to discover an old coin, so I lifted some rocks, inspected them on the bench, and then put the coin on display. This took me to 98 kudos. I only needed two more now to unlock Fossil Island and birdhouses for Hunter. So I decided to go to the woodland to catch some birds. I needed 12 Hunter to do the ascent of Arceus. I got 11, then I got 12, and then I decided that I may as well stay until I unlocked oak birdhouses. While I was waiting, I chopped this tree, got a bird's nest, fetched the logs, caught some birds, and got the 14 Hunter that I needed. Then I went to start the Priest in Peril quest. I bought some arrows for the fight, made my way to the church, went down the ladder and started the fight. This dog is meant to be safe spotable and again I didn't do it right. I think I'm learning though because eventually I got locked in this corner behind the wall and I stayed here while I used up all the arrows that I just bought. Next up was another fight, this time in a church. I used to puse the safe spot this time while I shot my arrows out at him and killed him dead. I broke this guy out of jail then found him underground. He wanted me to bring him essence so I grabbed it from the bank in Varric and brought it all the way back to him. And with that I unlocked an entirely new area of this map. More Tanya. That quest got me the kudos that I needed, so I handed it in at the museum, passed 100, and now I can complete Bum Voyage. I had to go around the place just talking to a lot of people, then I boarded this boat and had to navigate my way through the ocean, which I could just not get the hang of. It took me about 10 minutes just to figure this out. Once that was finished, the quest was done, and I could now get onto Fossil Island. I made a handy wee bank here and logged out there for the night. I'm starting today off by heading straight to the fire to make some bars that I need for later. Then I teleported to his city, walked to my house and built a crafting table. I needed to do a bit of DIY here to make some clockworks and then I could finally make oak birdhouses. I took them with me and made my way to Fossil Island. Then I realised I need seeds here too. So I checked my bank and I didn't bloody have any. So I had to go all the way back to Drain Ord, buy some seeds and then head all the way back. And then finally I was on the island. I built a well and a wee barbecue and a bench and a spinning wheel and a loom. And my reward for all of that was five little fossils. I took them straight to the bench to suss out what was inside. I had a full set of skeleton bones here. Next up was to do my birdhouses. I ran through these massive mushrooms, set one up, put some seeds on it, then ran back down because I missed one down here, set up my second one, then back around past the camp I walked to the valley, set up my last two birdhouses here and then tried to take the magic mushroom out but I hadn't unlocked any of the other ones yet so I had to walk all the way back around through the massive mushrooms again, unlock this one and then I thought I may as well lock another one while I was on the island. Then I teleported out with my cape, walked to Sears and joined in with the foresters for a while. Cutting trees, getting XP. I got a clue while I was here that it meant I had to go to Catherby for once something nearby. I got 61 woodcutting and then went to the clue spot. It sent me to one of the pubs in Varric. The clue I got from here required a black cape, leather chaps and a steel mace. I could buy a steel mace from Falador. Then I killed a highwayman for the black cape and I went to Algarad to tan some hide for the leather chaps. I was extremely glad that this was the last one and I got my casket here. Inside the casket we had salmon, a black full helm and a black dagger. My next goal was to get the nature spirit quest finished. I had to get some silver bars to complete it so I smelted some in Lumbay and then made the silver sickle that I needed for this quest. I walked my way over to Canifus entered the Mortmire swamp and journeyed down to the grotto. I tried to talk to this guy and it wasn't working, but I wasn't wearing my ghost necklace, so that fixed it. After that, I went back to the priest, tickled his feet or something here, and then made magic mushrooms on these logs. I placed them down for this ghost guy. He did some green voodoo shit outside his grotto. He gave me a green bag to fill with shrooms, but I ran out of prayer while I was doing this. People were telling me that I could pray in the grotto, so I tried that. But it turned out I couldn't do that until after this quest. The chronicle tally to Varric and had to walk all the way through Varric again, stopping to pray at this church, and all the way through Canifus to the Mortmire swamp again. Now I could finish making the mushrooms. I filled the bag up, 
a ghost, which actually did a lot of damage to me. I had all but one of my shrimp I had with me here. Then I went back to Canafus so that I could grab gear and more food. I was so unprepared for that. I entered the swamp for like the fourth time today, fought ghosts again, hopped over to the grotto, spoke to the green guy, and after more green magic stuff, I had completed the quest. This up my crafting level, HP level, defense level, and overall combat level. And now I could pray at the fountain. Next up, I started the Lost City quest. I bought some runes to bring with me, took a boat over to Entrana and climbed down this ladder and started fighting with the skeletons to get the bronze axe I needed. I found a safe spot here, but somehow I attacked the wrong one, so my safe spot was broken, but then I nearly flipped and died. I figured it out eventually and started killing skellies again and got the bronze axe that I needed to continue the quest. I ran towards this tree and figured out my next safe spot, but I fudged it up. And then I fought this tree spirit using the runes I had just bought. Once it was dead, I chopped the tree, telly to Lumbee, and entered this shed. Then then I had to try that again and the quest was complete which gives me access to Zanaris. I figured I may as well start the fairy tale quest next. I had to walk all over the place speaking to different farmers and then I entered the shed again, went to Zanaris and spoke to the fairies. Then I had to enter this terrifying tower, talk to someone and left that place again. I dug up a grave and got lost in this house. Couldn't figure out how to get out for ages. I spoke to this wizard and he needed me to get red spider eggs, a red vine worm and a fat snail and I didn't fancy doing that tonight so I'll figure that out next time I log on instead. I'll see you then. Alright, today I'm unlocking fairy rings. I need a red vine worm, which I already have in my bank, so I have to get a fat snail and red spider eggs still. I'm going with the eggs first, so I'm on my way to Varric. I can get them down through this trap door somewhere, but after trying to figure that out for a while, it was actually in the wilderness section, and I don't want to do that. So I left there and entered the sewers instead, and I tried to find some down here, but I was walking about for ages. My sense of direction is actually shocking. I couldn't figure out where the heck they were at all. It took me a while, but I eventually got them, and I teleported straight out of here. Then I started making my way to Mauritania. I entered the swamp to get the snail, and made magic mushrooms, <laughs> and then I'd already used up all my prayers, so I had to go and refill it, finish filling my sack up, and then attack this snail. But it turned out that it was actually the wrong kind of snail, so I tried again, and this time I actually got what I needed. I entered the grotto, prayed while I was here, got blessed by this green man, then teleported to Lumbridge. I entered Zanaris and went towards Tangle Root for the big fight. I sussed out my safe spots, but then my chat told me about one right at the entrance, so I went with that instead. I stuck on my secateurs, attacked the tree, and then ran back out to my safe spot. And now all I had to do was flinch it. So I turned it on, left click attack, attacked the tree, then ran back, but I ran one square too far and fudged it all up. So I tried to quickly reset it, go back into the right square, and tried again. And after a quick 20 minutes of attacking, running, waiting, repeating, I finally killed it, and I think I've probably learned how to flinch now. I spoke to the fairy godfather and completed the first part of the fairy tales quest. I used a bank here while figuring out how to do fairy tale 2. Step 1 was to talk to the farmer and drainer. Then I had to head back to Zanaris to use the fairy rings for the very first time. I travelled to AIR, then DLR, then DJQ, then AJS. Spoke to fair enough and then went back to Zanaris again. This time I had to pickpocket the fairy godfather. Waited a while for the other ones to stop looking and then I went in for it. But I failed. I actually did have the thieving level that I needed so I must have just done it really badly. I decided to leave the quest there anyway because I had finally unlocked fairy rings and that's all I really wanted. I bought some feathers instead and went fishing for a while, catching trout and salmon and then cooking them on this never ending fire. And then after a while I went over to my waka tree and rode myself down the river because I decided to have a go at Temporos now. I grabbed a harpoon and a rope and then I hopped on this big boat. I hopped to the Temporos world, grabbed a bucket and a hammer and started fishing and cooking and fishing and cooking. Then I loaded up the buckets with the fish and actually filled my buckets because I forgot to do that. And I also grabbed another one just in case. Then I just spent a while fishing, tethering, hammering, cooking, harpooning and soon enough it was all done. And then it took me a bit of time to actually figure out how to leave here. But that was my first game completed, and my first drops were double spirit flakes and raw salmon. I hopped back on the boat and continued doing tempo until I completed five kills. Then I went back to the reward pool, and what I got was salmon, mackerel, pike, spirit flakes, tuna, more flakes, planks, fish, more fish, a casket, and more fish. And inside my casket we have four diamond necklaces. Not great. Maybe I'll do better next time. The last day I was on I did my first five tempo kills. I'm going to complete 10 more kills and that'll give me 15 total kill count. After I'd completed those 15 kills, I had 37 reward permits. I grabbed my net and then went to the pool. This is what I got. First up, salmon. Next up, the goddamn fish barrel. Followed by double flakes and then tuna. Soaked pages and more flakes. More flakes. More flakes. More fish. Fish. Flakes. Planks. Nails. Flakes. Fish. Planks. Fish lobsters, lots more fish and flakes, and that's us done. I am happy with that barrel. That's a 1 out of 400 drop, and I got it on probably my 6th tempo kill. Happy bloody days. I went straight back on the boat after that because I felt like I needed to do a few more kills while I had some luck on my side. After 10 more kills, I went back to the reward pool, and this time I got fish, lobsters, flakes, feathers, planks, pages, and bait. That was so much less exciting than getting the barrel. So I peaced out of that place and went to the thieving gardens instead. 
I grabbed enough of the tree fruit things to make three cocktails here and I definitely got thrown out a few times even with this plug-in on. But then I handed them into Osman and got over 4,000 thieving XP for that which pushed me up to a thieving level of 42. I thought about going to train my agility next so I walked towards Canifus rooftops. And then I remembered that now I can actually use my fairy rings. So I used my arty cape and then I fairy ringed my way over to Canifus instead. And I hopped around the rooftops here for a while. There's bound to be different ways to train agility other than this, but I actually don't know of any other ways. So rooftops it is. I spent the rest of my night hopping the tops here on the buildings and ended up on 44 agility. I logged out and then I logged on for a couple of hours the next day and just did the same thing again. I kept running around the roofs until I had 90 marks of grace and that was enough for me to buy the graceful legs and graceful gloves. So with my marks of grace I teleported over to Burthorpe and ran to the graceful shop and I bought my first two items of the graceful set. Hopefully now I can run much further around this map. I feel like it's time to get another Slayer task done. So I'm going to grab a load of cakes from this stall and then right here in Artie I can head into this gated area where I can kill dogs for my Slayer task. I was able to hide behind the fence and safe spot them with Mage. But after not very long at all I ran out of runes. So I TP'd over to Varric to buy lots more from the shop there. And once I'd done that I went back to my Slayer task. I had to kill 36 dogs in total and once I'd done that I had completed my fifth task. And now I could finally start earning Slayer points. I headed to the bank to sort out what to do next and I decided on starting the portion of interest quest. I geared myself up because I'm a little bit worried about the upcoming fight but then Velocity lured me away from the bank and took me down this trap door to show me how to safe spot Zamorak warriors. I'm bloody glad I can safe spot these things because they're level 85 and I'm after a drop here which is a 1 out of 50 drop rate so I could be here a while but I badly need an upgraded weapon because all these quests I have to do seem to have fights now. My bronze sword just ain't cutting it anymore. Eventually I got a rune dagger here which is definitely an upgrade but it's not actually what I'm after. I had to head back to Varric for another restock of my runes and then followed Vel again and went back in to fighting these guys. I killed a lot of them. I actually reached the drop rate and I still didn't have it but then 52 kills in I finally got the rune skim that I came here for and after getting that I went straight into starting the quest. I had to climb down this huge hole where someone had clearly died before and then a flipping huge pig came out of nowhere and spat all over me. My hardcore fate was on the line here. I lay here dying after what that pig had done to me until someone finally came along and saved me but I wanted revenge so I went back down into the hole jumped over the rocks and attacked that pig and once it was finally dead I left the hole and went to see Sarah. She gave me 5,000 coins for killing the piggy and then I went to see the girl who saved me. She gave me 30 slayer reward points and completed the quest for me. I also got some reinforced goggles and slayer xp. While I was here I thought I might as well get my next slayer task from her and it was 32 ghosts and I don't fancy doing ghosts right now. So I went to Alcaran instead to start the temple of the eye quest. This person here told me that I had to go into the abyss, which is not really ideal for a hardcore, but I'm trying to be less afraid of literally everything, so I walked towards Varric, apparently forgetting all about the whack a canoe I could have taken up, and once I got there I entered the Chaos Temple, and I spoke to the Mage of Samrock. He offered to teleport me to the abyss, but I was so unprepared. I went to the bank instead, grabbed food and a one-click telly out just in case, then I went back in and let him do his thing. I spoke to the Dark Mage here and prayed so hard that nobody came along to kill me. He made me do some stupid colour puzzle thing. I went brown, grey, green, and then I got the next one wrong. I let chat decide here and they actually got it right so I was finally on my way out of the abyss. I went back to this wizard and got teleported again, this time to the wizard tower. I had to do lots more puzzles here, this time it was figuring out different riddles for them. Then we had some sort of cult meeting in the basement to initiate me into the temple of the eye or something. We all entered this underwater arena thing and then these weird as heck creatures came out to attack us but someone one shot them all and then they taught me how to complete the guardians of the rift mini game. I made two little baby rock golem things, whacked some stones, chiseled some things, jumped through the pillars, used the altars and I prayed to the guardian thing here in the middle. Then he shot some magic out of his trident and right through this spinny hole and that was the quest complete. I got 5000 runecraft in XP, a medium pouch and now I could complete this mini game for runecrafting XP which sounds much better to me than running back and forth between the bank and the altars with pure essence. That left me on 75 total quest points and up my runecraft into 28 now and that's where I decided to leave it for for that day. But next time I was going to do the mini game and I'm really hoping I get the pet here. I'm doing my first game of this Guardians of the Rift mini game today. Or, well, I would be if I could figure out how to enter through the gate thing. I haven't really got a baldy how to do this at all. I tried to follow the mass of people, but it wouldn't let me go down where they were. I wasn't allowed down the stairs because I didn't have the agility level. So I mined a different rock nearby, and then everyone was running away. So I tried to follow, but they were running away everywhere now, and I got so confused. I tried to go into the portal things, but I couldn't get into them. So I went back to clicking the rocks, and then chiseled at the table for a while. I kept trying to get into the pillars, and I finally got into this one. So I made some runes here, and then clicked the rocks again. And when the game was finally over, it told me I hadn't contributed enough for any points. 
So I tried again while watching a video about it, and I also installed this plugin which helped massively. Now I could just mine the rocks until I had enough fragments that would fill my inventory, then chisel them into circles, then I clicked green here, made the runes I needed, and used these to power up the giant rock man in the middle. I repeated these steps for the entire game. Oh, and I also hopped into this little yellow ball of light. Mine in here let me skip the chiseling step. And once the game was finished, it said I had closed one rift with two elemental energy and one catalytic energy thingies. That's probably something to do with reward points, but I decided to just start a second game and keep doing this until I had stacked up some of these energy things. It took me nine games to hit 15 and 14, and then I went to get my rewards. The first thing I got was Abyssal Pearls, followed by a Water Talisman, Law Runes, Nature Runes, Chaos Runes, Cosmic Runes, Back to Back Natures, Body Runes, Blood Runes, Back to Back Chaos Runes, More Body Runes, and More Pearls. I think that was 14 rewards just, so you must need one of each kind of energy to get one reward. I grabbed some logs from the bank here and prepped for a birdhouse run next, but before doing that I stopped at Lumbay to do my Tears of Gothics. This time it upped my Hunter level to 17, and next it was time for Fossil Island. I hopped on the boat and completed the birdhouse run, upping my Hunter level a few times along the way. I used to already keep and fairy ring combo to head to Canifus next where you guessed it we are back on the rooftops clicking green constantly collecting a few marks along the way I actually reached 50 agility here today and I still don't have the full graceful set but I decided to switch it up and head back to the runecrafting minigame instead I have the rotation down pretty well now I mine until a portal opens then I mine in the portal click green and make runes give the runes to the rock man then deposit what's left in my inventory and just rinse and repeat this I also learned that if the portal's up when the game's over you can hop into it and start the next game in that little rock mining place. That's a heck and big hack. Anyway, after doing a few games here, I went to pull the 15 rewards that I had banked. I got blood runes, pearls, water runes, air runes, more waters, air runes, air runes, cosmic runes, blood runes, a water talisman, pearls, fire runes, a cosmic talisman, more pearls, and cosmic runes. No pouches, no pets, no luck. I'm logging out here for tonight.